most children of all ages. Welcome to Robert's Fortune. I'm your host, Robert. All right, Ring of Honor 17th anniversary show preview coming this Friday night on Honor Club and on Fight TV. I will be enjoying it on the Fight TV app or on if you go to Fight TV. I think it's FightTV.com. Um, pretty decent show set up here. We have some. Uh, Storylines that are going to fall into the G1 Supercard, which the WrestleMania weekend, the first, first, first show, non WWE show to sell out Madison Square Garden, the Ring of Honor New Japan G1 Supercard. All right, we're going to jump right into these matches. We have eight matches total. First match, we have Jonathan Grissom versus Silas Young, the Octopus Jonathan Grissom. He is one of the most technical sound wrestlers in the game. He's right there alongside of the Zack Sabre Jr. Um, Jonathan Grissom, Zack Sabre Jr. match is just a hold, counter hold kind of. There's no real a lot of flips or jumps or nothing like that. This is a mat based technical match. So I think Grissom will be able to beat Silas Young. I know Silas is a big, burly guy. Only thing I can think of happen here if Bully Ray comes out and gets involved. He's been friendly with Silas Young lately. I, I do want to see Jonathan Grissom win. Next up, we have a tag team match. We have The Kingdom, TK O'Reilly and Vinny Marscala versus Lifeblood, Mark Haskins and Tracy Williams. On um, this Lifeblood faction, I'm loving it as part of Ring of Honor. Um, it's a lot of the guys that Ring of Honor has brought in recently. Um, Mark, Mark Haskins, Tracy Williams, um, Tanel Dashwood, Bandito, David Finley, and it's like they want to bring the honor back. <coughs> Still trying to get over it. They wanted to bring the honor back to Ring of Honor. Um, it's been a really cool faction. Unfortunately, David Finley got hurt at Honor Rising. He'll be at six months with a shoulder injury. So I have a team of lifeblood winning this. Next up, we have Kenny King versus Marty Skrull. As we all know, Marty Skrull won the Survival of the Fittest, which gets him a future title shot. So he has that title shot just sitting there on the mantle waiting. Now, at the new Crockett Cup at the end of February, is there an end of April? It's an NWA Ring of Honor show. He actually has a NWA World title shot against Nick Aldis. So that's going to be a great match to see. Um, he has the Ring of Honor title shot in his back pocket, just holding on to it. Kenny King, they seem like they've been building him up a lot lately here. I'm actually liking it. Uh, I'd love to see Kenny King as world champion. I think he's talented. I think he's just kind of been kind of a... He's, to me, he's the same as Jay Lethal. And they've just kind of been pushing him off. But they're kind of bringing him back now. So I actually see Kenny King winning here, which would be great. Because I could love to see Marty Skrull as champion versus Kenny King or vice versa. So I could actually see a scenario where Skrull holds on to this title shot and maybe Kenny King becomes champion and then we redo the same match with a title on it. So I'd love to see that feud continue. Marty Skrull and the Villain Enterprises. Not sure how long his contract is with Ring of Honor. But definitely we all know once his contract is up, he's gone over to All Elite with his best friends. Um, so hopefully he gets the title before then. Next up, a match that I am so looking forward to, two Mexican transplants to, new, to uh, Ring of Honor, Bandito and Roosh. Roosh was the founder of Los Ignorables de Japón in the, Mex the uh, CMLL version. Uh, we have a version in, in Japan, obviously. Um, Bandito, great talent, uh, one of the top luchadors out there. This match is just going to be off the hook, I hope. I am definitely looking forward to that. Then we have the... Um, got, I actually picked Roosh to win. Um, even though I'm a great... I'm a, I love Bandito. I think Roosh will win that. I think it's going to be a great match. I'd love to see Roosh get a shot at the Ring of Honor title. Next up, we have the Women in Honor title championship on the line. We have Maya Tommy, who is current champion, versus Kelly Klein. And now, if you went back to one year ago at Supercard of Honor... WrestleMania weekend, this was a semifinal match for the initial Woman Honor Champion, who was Sumi Sakai. Kelly Klein beat 
and Tommy in the semifinals. Tommy beat Kelly Klein to win the title. Series tied at one. Who wins the, you know, called the best of three series here? I think uh, Maya Tani, I think she'll retain here. Next up, we have the ROH TV title line with champion Jeff Cobb, who won the, the Ring of Honor television title in his first match in Ring of Honor versus Punisher Martinez. He's held the title 165 days. I think Jeff Cobb is such a talented big guy. I think five years, seven years down the line, he's going to be somebody that a WWE or All Elite is going to try to take. I hope he stays with like Ring of Honor, New Japan. Um, I just think if he goes to WWE, I think he's just going to waste him. He's so talented. He is, to me, comparable to be a Samoa Joe with more talent. Um, Joe never did a standing moonsault, but um, when Joe, 2005-ish Samoa Joe, 2004, that kind of Samoa Joe, I think Jeff Cobb, at this point, his career is equal to that, if not a little bit better. Um, so definitely see great things out of, out of Jeff Cobb. Shane Taylor, um, he's kind of been this, what's I'm looking for here, uh, big man for hire. You know, people have been hiring him to take out people, be the bodyguard and stuff. Don't know why he got a TV title shot. Um, but I have Jeff Cobb winning that. Now, next match, the Ring of Honor Tag Team, World Tag Team Title Championship on the line here. The winner of this between champion the Briscoe Brothers, Sandy Ford Delaware, Briscoe Brothers, 10 time Ring of Honor Tag Team Champions versus the Villain Enterprises of PCO and Brody King. The winner goes to G1 Supercard, Madison Square Garden versus the Gorillas of Destiny, the IWGP World Tag Team Champions, title versus title. Okay, so. Here's how I'm looking at this. I'm a New Japan fan. I watch New Japan. I had New Japan streaming service. Honor Rising, Night 1, 8-man tag. The Briscoes teaming with the Girls of Destiny. They lost that. The Girls of Destiny attacked the Briscoes. Night 2 of Honor Rising, the Girls of Destiny won the IWGP Tag Team Championships. This match was already set before that. The winner of this went on <coughs> to G1 Supercard to face title versus title. So, Briscoe's retain here. We go on to G1 Supercard. We have the 10-time Ring of Honor Champions of Briscoe's versus the 5-time IWGP World Tag Team Champions, the Gorillas of Destiny, and Tomologa is not a good guy no more. Because all year he's been on New Japan going, I am a good guy. I am a good guy. He ain't a good guy no more. He's heel as fuck right now, which the Bullet Club is. They are part of the Bullet Club with Jay White, the Switchblade Jay White. So yeah, Briscoe's win here. Match would be great. PCO, um, he's one of those. He's in his 50s. He was part of the cool backers in WWE back in the 80s and 90s. This guy, just you can't kill him. <laughs> He's kind of made a, a resurgence here recent with MLW, now with Ring of Honor. Uh, Brody King, just this big burly kind of tattoo guy who, by looks, kind of looks like Aleister Black. I think him and Aleister Black would make a sick tag team. Uh, but he, yeah, Brody King's in Ring of Honor. So... I love the Villain Enterprises, Marty Skrull. Now the Villain Enterprises on the tapings for the day after Super Co or day after anniversary show have a six-man title shot versus the Kingdom. So got Briscoe's retaining there. Next up, we have the ROH World Title Line with Champion Jay Lethal versus the leader of the Kingdom, Matt Taven. Now, in the Ring of Honor history, which began in 2002, there's been 29 title reigns among 24 different wrestlers. Right now, uh, Jay Lethal has held the title 255 days, the ninth longest in Ring of Honor history. Now, Lethal also has held the title, the Ring of Honor title, more days total than anybody else. <coughs> He's held it 
682 days. He is one of four four guys to hold the title multiple times. Austin Aries, Adam Cole, Bay Bay, and Jay Briscoe. Cole's held it three times, Briscoe, Aries, and Lethal have held it twice. I'm kind of what I'm looking for. I'm tired of Jay Lethal being champion. I like Jay Lethal, don't get me wrong. He's a great world champion, but it's like, let's have something fresh. We need new. We need to build up people. Let's give the title to Matt Taven. Okay. Let's have Matt Taven, Marty Skrull, Kenny King, Rouge, Bandito, Mark Haskins. Let's have these guys fighting for the Ring of Honor title. So I actually have Matt Taven winning the Ring of Honor World Championship. That's what I want to see. He is part of the sixth man with the kingdom. I think they'll lose to Villain Enterprises. Give Villain Enterprises a title here. Alright, so I have the only title change is the world title, Matt Taven. I got Briscoes, Jeff Cobb, Maui Itani, all retaining. I got Roosh, King, Kenny King, Lifeblood, and Jonathan Grissom winning the, the non title matches. So, fifth, 17th anniversary show, Ring of Honor, this Friday night, March 15th, Honor Club, and Fight TV. Um, probably won't be able to watch the entire thing on Friday night because I got to work Saturday. Um, so between Friday night and Saturday night, I will get it finished up. Probably have a review up, if not Saturday morning, but hopefully Sunday morning, I'll get the review up. Uh, make sure you check that out. Um, as we get on the road to WrestleMania, we're going to have a lot of videos, hopefully, for WrestleMania, the NASCAR stuff, NCAA College. March Madness, that starts next week. Cannot wait to get those videos up. I'm excited about that. So there's going to be a lot coming on Robert Sports Show over the next few weeks, next month. Um, there's a ton of shows for WrestleMania weekend that I have got on Fight TV. There was, there was a bundle that had 20 shows that included Ring of Honor, Impact, and a bunch of other indie shows. I did get that. So as I watch those shows, I may just do a review. So maybe a few days after the show aired when I do the reviews. But within probably, I would say two weeks of that, I'll get the reviews up. Um, just a few indie shows here and there probably. Um, April 15th. That is an important date here on Robert Sports Show. April 15th. I am going to put up the 25 best men's, 25 best women's matches of the first quarter of 2018. So January, February, March, April 15th, the best matches, 25 men's and women's, will be up here on Robert Sports Show, so make sure you check that out. As always, thanks for watching Robert Sports Show, and don't just have a great day. Have a spiffy day. Robert Sports Show, your YouTube leader, sports channel content.